Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's health orders prevent horse tracks from even opening. But News 13's Corey King found out Ruidoso Downs doesn't plan on canceling its season. It's going to run races as scheduled with a catch. I mean, that's people's income, and so having it reopen would really help out. Riodosa was looking forward to the Downs racetrack to open as planned on May 22nd for races. There will be no fans or owners allowed in, but only horses, jockeys, and their trainers. Even though fans will not be allowed, businesses and trainers are thrilled to be able to start making money again. It's a great feeling to know we have something to look forward to because we've been training and training and training and, you know, and no, uh, no races. And no way we make money if we race. Horse owners and trainers have their hopes up that the Downs will be able to open because tracks across the state have canceled their entire seasons before they even started. Well, Sunland won't open till next season, but it's good to know that Rio Dos is open. You know, and, and they're going to adjust the purse money and stuff, so yeah, it's, it's very good news. The track manager said they are hoping the governor's orders do not extend past the current lift date on May 15th, giving them the opportunity to run races under strict guidelines but they will touch base with the governor's office on the 15th to determine if they can open as scheduled. Corey King, CARE News 13. Redoso Downs Racetrack plans to run its entire schedule of races to end the season to include the richest American quarter horse race, the American Futurity, with a $2 million purse on September 7th.